Son? You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this, the only hope for humanity, lies below me. It's not so bad, really. People manage. Perhaps. But at a cost too great to be worth it. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. They kept me alive, too? They did, indeed. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive, mm -hmm. I'll admit. When I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. So it was you? You let me out? Yes. It was my decision. Certainly it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it uh -huh. perhaps most curious to me, would you? Mm -hmm. Sean, you need to know. I still love you. I can see that you do. It's... Well, it's remarkable. Mm -hmm. The synths have been safely returned and will be repurposed. Thank you for your work. I hope you weren't at too much risk. There's always a risk. It was worth it. I'm glad you see it. Sure. The railroad remains an annoyance, of course. And you, well, right. please. It's time for you to become more involved. I'd like you to join me. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in.